I'm Jared Solomon. I was born in North Carolina. My dad's from North Carolina. But my mom's from Harlem, New York. I moved away from North Carolina when I was 18. Opened my first business and ran it completely into the ground. Humiliated in front of all my friends, got my first truck repossessed. Moved away, went to uh, South Carolina for two years in Atlanta. Um, met my ex-wife, had a kid, and a beautiful daughter named Ty that I called Numero Uno. something to see and something to hear, something to treasure. I went through a Orthodox Jewish conversion to become a Jew. Started learning at a base midrash, which is a Jewish study hall in Atlanta. And then moved to New York City. Lived in New York City for eight years, where I um, went to a yeshiva and actually had the process done, became a full-fledged Jew. I went through an Orthodox conversion so nobody could ever refute that I was Jewish. Um, you know, being black and Jewish is, is difficult. Um, being a convert is also very difficult in a lot of ways. A little bit of source of anxiety sometimes because I'm a somewhat you know, observant Jew. Not as religious as I used to be, a little bit more spiritual. Yeah, I moved to, moved to, uh, to New York City where I found stand-up comedy bowels of abysmal darkness and depression. I've been doing stand-up comedy for almost four years now. I'm in my third year. And uh, it kind of fed off my writing because I wrote my first sitcom pilot in 07 in Atlanta where I pitched it. Um, so when I started doing stand-up comedy, my writing just took off. I was writing script after script. I've written close to about 70 or 80 scripts. Celtics account is full of scripts right now. I can't even add any more. I love to write. I like to express myself. And, um, whether it's uh, science fiction or a uh, campy style of um, sitcom, girlfriend and boyfriend sitcom, um, I can pull from that because I've dated a lot. Um, been engaged several times. Um, been married twice. Um, got two kids. Um, I look like I'm in my 20s. But I'm 43 years old. I have a blast of life, you know. I've, I've learned to, to really appreciate being alive and value myself. It's a struggle, it's an onslaught, but it's, it is what it is. I, uh, I wrote a script in New York that got a good review from a studio um, here in LA, and this time had it arranged where I could actually write something specifically for the studio and bring it out here to LA. It took me four months. Um, I wrote that script in Yeshiva University, and I don't know if anybody, anybody's familiar with Yeshiva University. It's one, it is the number one Jewish university in, in the world. It's in Washington Heights. It took me four months. I wrote it there, wrote the script there. And as soon as I was finished, I left, um, got my the older daughter's blessing to come out here to L.A., and came out here to sell the script, to deliver to the studio and sell it. I'm here in L.A. I've been here for five months now. I'm having a blast as far as learning a lot more about myself. Really trying to make sure that I, I keep, it's a, a struggle or an onslaught to fight depression. It can never be eradicated. But what it can be is managed. And the way I manage it, manage it myself, is really smiling. You know, I waited all these years to really use a smile. I've got a great smile, a great personality. And, you know, to really use it, you know, stand-up comedy has helped me that a lot, but also just writing, expressing myself. I love LA Film School. I love what it does for Los Angeles, and I think that um, the best is yet to come, and the, the fact that I was able to get in, uh, the fact that they heard my story, um, the fact that my manager helped me get in, uh, Steve Marshall, the fact that he helped me get in, um, the fact that my rabbis uh, supported me um, all the way from New York here, uh, my roommates my roommate of 18 years that I was staying with back here died in a tragic car accident. And he actually told me to go to LA Film School before. Um, when I was when I was just writing at his house, he said, man, maybe you should go to LA Film School. He knew somebody here. I don't even know who he knew here, but um, thank God, man. Or should I say Baruch Hashem? <laughs> Sounds a lot more Jewish, I guess. But I, I you know, I, I try not to, in an especially in environment, being only observant Jew here on campus, it's weird. I'm always the odd man out. Um, it's not nothing I try to do on purpose, it's just that 
things had the way of working out that way. I have a lot of love in me. And I think you can see that family is really important to me. And uh, being around people that I can really, really, really be myself with is really important. And always being my, my true authentic self. My name is Jared Solomon. Sovereignty is my mission. This is my story.